Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? CJ here. Just at the shop. It's a rainy day. Getting some work done. Fooling around with these cutlasses today. Um, this is an update on this one here, the Red 83 Cutlass. Um, the last time we saw it, um, I had took the doors off of it. Um, and said I was going to be taking the front end off of it, front clip off of it. Um, so that is now done. Front end is off. Uh, both sides, the front of it is right there, and the sides. Um, now, that's doors, front, everything. So this is going to make it a lot quicker for me to get a lot of the body work done that I need to get done. Um, if I need to carry it to different places, I can carry different parts to different spots to get stuff done. Um, this frame here, you see how rusty it looks? It's not really rusty if you will for structure wise i did find one bad spot on it maybe you can see it there uh right there this little spot here so i'm thinking i'm trying to figure out what i want to do it's making me want to take this entire body off the frame which ain't hard if you can see right there it's a bushing it's a bushing right there with, with a screw a few of them down the end, one right here, where I could take the whole body of the car off of the frame and inspect this entire frame to make sure it's not rusted out and going crazy in all these different spots. Um, I'm thinking about actually doing that. And if I do it and it's bad as far as frame-wise, I do have this one here where I could take the frame off of this one. Um, this is a newer style. That's an 83. This is an 86. 86, I believe. Frame. Um, which changed up some things. Those holes that you see on that one. That one's not on here, which gives it a little better structure. Um, this frame is a lot. Looks to be in a little bit better shape than that one, even though the body of that one is in great, excellent condition, whereas the body of this one is rusted out completely. Floors are rusted out, everything's rusted out. Here's the fenders um, from off of that car. I just stuck them in here for now on the front lower bumper. Uh, that's trash, I would try to sell some of it, but it's rusted all the way through, it's, it's no good with that one. So, um, but yeah, if, if I get to looking on this one, and the frame ain't up the part like I want it to be, then I'm gonna just swap it out for this frame here and keep it moving. And then I take that frame, put it on this car, or even take this frame, take it to somebody and get it sandblasted and um, try to build it back up for another build if I have another, if I get another cutlass. Like I said, this one here, I'm not gonna do anything to this one. Now, this one here, I have bartered off um, to a painter wants one of these um he's bartered off or traded me for this car to do a paint job body working paint job on my 2005 or 2004 z71 tahoe um that's gonna be one of my next things that i got going that tahoe but meanwhile we're gonna try to get this one together as my other one slowly comes along um that one's almost ready. Uh, hopefully it'll be ready soon, but y'all been watching the process, so it's, it's, it's a slow process. But this one here should be a lot quicker, being that, that one, this one didn't have as much issues as the other one. So uh, just trying not to spend too much cash right now, trying to hold on to some stuff till the other one is finished. Most of this stuff here I've been doing myself. Um, only thing so far that I've spent a little more dollars on is getting the back half of this joker welded. Um, actually, I wasted $200 with a buddy of mine cutting out the back off of that one. He was supposed to do this, but he didn't, so I ended up spending almost $400 on top of the $200 that I spent to get him to cut that out as a deposit to do the body work. I spent another $400 to get this part fixed that he was supposed to fix Whereas I put that 200 deposit down, but I ain't argue about it. it is what it is. So this right here has cost me the most so far when it comes to this car. Everything else I've done myself, uh, so it's not really no cost. Um, 
the motor that I have here. Again, it's not really no cost. It's going to be a cost because, of course, I got to get it machined. But I traded this motor here for a lot of uh, uh, metal. The guy who had this car, you know, he does metal. He's a buddy of mine. When he, when he got this motor, he let me know, hey, I got a good motor, the one you've been looking for, um, and transmission. You can get it if you let me get all the metal that you got in your shop. So at the time, I don't know if y'all remember, I had about three motors sitting right here in the floor. Two fenders, uh, some bumpers, uh, some old metal off of one of my other cutlasses that I was building in here, um, some brakes, rotors, all that kind of stuff. I had a bunch of it in here. So I traded them all of that stuff for this for this engine right here. So um, I only got $200 into this motor. So right now with this bill here, I got about 390, 590, 590 plus 200, what's that? 5, 6, 790 wrapped up in this car so far. Outside of what it cost me to purchase this car. So all in all, I got probably about $2,000 into this car here. When I'm finished with it, you're going to think it's got close to 80 or better in this car. Kind of like how my other one is. But I'm not going to do this one as crazy as I did the other one. I'm going to prep it. I'm going to get it ready. I'm going to have it nice so that if I do eventually sell it, I can get top dollar for it. But for the meanwhile, like I said, this car I was trying to do for like a his and hers situation. Uh, I had a drop top shit. had a hard top. But it'll be clean either way it goes. So um, that's what I'm trying to do with this car. I'm almost good when it comes to my, that Monte Carlo I, I've spoken about. Um, I spoke with the lady today, and she's ready to let it go. She wants me to try to get it started first to see if it'll even start. Of course, she just wants to try to get some more money out of the car. But it is what it is. I already know what's going on with the car. So um, we'll see if we'll be bringing the Monte Carlo to the channel or to, to, the, to the club or to the crew. So we had two Cutlasses, a Monte Carlo, um, and then the, the trucks and the vans and stuff like that. So um, the next step on this car that I got to do now is I have to take the dash out and this air box here. I got to take this out. Um, I'm going with a different setup as far as the air box. I'm going to put a plate here. That plate going to have pipes coming through it for my AC. Um, so all of this bunched up stuff you see here, that's going to be gone. It's just going to be a clean area here, a flat wall with just two pipes coming through for my uh, my HVAC stuff here. On the dashboard, um, the dash, I'm going to get that dash refurbished. Uh, next time you see it, it'll probably either be wrapped or just, you know, fixed. But um, that's got to come out in order for me to take that box out. So that's that's going to be the next thing that I do, that dash and that, that center console and that driver's seat to get them fixed. So I have to take this to the upholstery guy, this to the upholstery guy, and, and the center console to the upholstery guy. So those will be the next things that I'll be getting done. Dash, console, seat, and air box. That'll be all coming out next. So, um progress is being made when it comes to these bills um right now i'm just dealing with my, my one of my partners he's slowing down on me he's he young but he you know he working himself in the hole so uh he's slowing down on me a little bit so some stuff i wiring wise I, I it's gonna take me a little longer to get done so while i'm waiting on that i might as well get the other hard stuff done uh, while i'm waiting on him to get cleared up so um shortly like i said the 83 O's will be coming back. The T-top O's will be coming back. Uh, then we'll do a whole video on putting that whole car back together with everything that goes with it. But meanwhile, this is an update on the red 83 O's hard top. Um, so I got something else. I'll cut you back on. Go on.